So moving on to a map, I just wanted to show some context for what we're talking about. This is Site 12, it's the northwest corner of the property. And the red stars are those, those uh, eight buildings that we're talking about, just to give you sort of a spatial distribution of, of where they are. So I mentioned Site 32. What is the current use of Site 32? Well, we're in between projects, and so we're taking some time to do some housekeeping at Site 32. Now, no work is actually being done at the site for Site 32. However, we're taking care of some things to prepare the site for a new phase of work. First of all, we're fixing the gates and the fencing. Now, we're going to be constantly doing this for all Navy fences as wear and tear occurs over the years. But Site 32, as it will be a continuous laydown area, we want to make sure that the fences and the gates are secure. <laughs> we'll also continue to protect storm drains. So this is to ensure that sediment does not go down the drain. This helps keep the pipes clear, and it prevents dirt or debris going down the drains. This is very similar to what you'll see in other construction projects, even within the city of San Francisco. Stockpiles, a key important aspect for all of our field work, how we maintain them and protect them from the wind and the rain. So we want to make sure that the material is protected in case we need to store it there before it's hauled off site. So this applies to all of our stockpiles and we'll use various methods to protect it from the wind and the rain, including plastic sheeting or sometimes some stabilizers or like a magic shell that solidifies the surface of the of the stockpile. Hmm. Last but not least, air and dust monitoring. For any project that we do, we'll have a robust air and dust monitoring program as part of the as part of the project. So this is something that we're being doing for any project that we that we have on go. So moving on, showing you a picture of site 32. So on the left-hand side, you'll see the soil that was previously stockpiled at Site 32. This is where it's being, it's being put into a truck for off-site disposal. And you'll see some of the controls that are in place. There's material down by the tires for the, for the, the rear of the truck right here. And also, there will be air and dust monitoring ongoing for that as well. Just so you know, this material is going off-site to Buttonville, California, which is a landfill. This material has all been screened for radiological issues. Now on the right-hand side, this is something you'll see typically with our workers out in the residential area or some other areas. And this demonstrates what we call the pre-excavation soil samples. And of note here is what we should have for all of our workers is the personal protective equipment for themselves, including the safety vest, hard hat, uh, steel-toed shoes, all other equipment that they need, and also to make sure that the residents are safe, we have safety barriers to make sure that they know that this is an area where work is ongoing, so you'll see the orange, the orange fence here as well. So every time we have some sort of activity ongoing for our projects, you'll see something similar like this, whether it's personnel or there's equipment being used within the neighborhood. 